The crew that I liked the most, I happened to play against, was the New Orleans Saints. Ordinarily, when you have a linebacker crew, you have one, two, maybe if you're really lucky, three that were as dominant as, as they were, but they had four. New Orleans Dome Patrol featured Ricky Jackson, Sam Mills, Vaughn Johnson, and Pat Swilling. Each reached at least four Pro Bowls, and in 1992, our number one linebacking corps was the only corps to ever send four backers in the same year. Well, that had never happened before. But if you watch that defense play and you watch those guys play, I mean, every one of them deserved it. Hey, new quarterback here, baby. It's worst nightmare. When teams had to prepare to go into that dome, they were scared to death of that linebacker core. I hated playing against the Saints. Their defense was very violent. I mean, I mean, the Giants had great linebackers, but the Saints linebackers, I thought, was by far the best linebacker group in the NFL. The outside linebackers are your pass rushers. So you get Ricky Jackson, who had incredible strength, and you had Pat Swilling, who had incredible speed and quickness coming off the edge. They were a great group. Ricky Jackson was a 14-year veteran and the team's original tough guy. If I was ever in a situation where I needed to defend myself, and I could pick one guy that I've ever coached, it would be Ricky Jackson. You know, no knee pads, no thigh pads. Uh, he's just a raw football player. Ricky was very underrated. Ball came loose. Saints have it. In 1987, the Saints provided Jackson with a complimentary yellow jacket. Georgia Tech's Pat Swilling. Pat Swilling was your classic up-the-field pass rushing outside linebacker. Yeah, we're going to be on top of Marino today, too. When the ball was snapped, I mean, he was so explosive coming off that edge. You put him on that artificial turf. He's hit by Swilling. Bubbles the ball. It's picked up by the Saints. Will score. Swilling was around guys and on the quarterback in a lot of cases before the tackle ever moved. Come on, let's take it off. Stop this drive, huh? Inside linebacker Sam Mills stood just 5'9", but played like a giant. Sam Mills looked like tattooed. I kept looking around for Mr. Rourke, thought I was on Fantasy Island. He was short, but he was not small. And he would get up under guys and just rock them. Sam Mills was an absolute genius student of the game. He ran the show. I remember a game. Sam called every single play we were running. Watch it, Joker! Uh, swing, swing! We draw. I got it, baby, I got it. Sam Mills was the best football player I ever coached because he was everything that you wanted in a player. Gonna be bad Intercepted. Bad. Work ethic, leadership, uh, preparation. He achieved as close to his potential as any player that I've ever been around or coached. Third down, has the ball taken out of his hands by Sam Mills. He'll score! That's an awesome play. Like Mills, Vaughn Johnson went from USFL cast-off to NFL All-Pro. If you lined up those four guys and you'd say, which guy most looks like an NFL linebacker, it would be Vaughn Johnson. He was just a maniac. I mean, this guy was a physical, physical football player. That was a guy that came out of the USFL Showtime. that no one knew about. That it took about three plays. Roger Craig is arguably the best all-around running back in the NFL at this time. And about the third play of the game, he goes, man, I don't know who that dude is. But I don't want you to let him hit me anymore today. He says, that guy hurts. I can't believe when people bring up a New Orleans group. I mean, to me, they're just another bunch of curtain jerkers. To compare them to the Steeler linebackers is ridiculous. Re re refresh my memory. Did they ever play in a playoff game? Actually, they did. Dion, he Three times. He hit touchdown. And lost all of them. I mean, how can you even say they're any good? The fact that they never won a playoff game had nothing to do with them. And running in for a touchdown is Eric Allen. They didn't have uh, the Chiefs defensive line, the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive lines. They really had to make plays, and people got on them pretty quick. The Saints are the only team on our list not to appear in a Super Bowl. So why all the love? For the Saints' first 20 years in New Orleans, the sky was always falling. This is the dangest thing I've ever seen in a football game right here. But after 20 years without a winning season, the Saints never had a losing season in the six years our number one linebacking core was together. He stopped short of the goal line. The Saints are winners for the first time in 21 years. They combined for 13 trips to the Pro Bowl, but only once in those six years did another Saint defender accompany them. It's, it's not about size, and it's not about speed. It's about how you execute, how you fit in, how those puzzle pieces fit into a hole. And they did.
I think that they executed about as good as any linebacking crew that I've ever seen or played against. I'd certainly vote for him to be the number one linebacking core of all time. I mean, I know this team never won a playoff game. Right but I mean, they were good enough for us to win a Super Bowl. They're going to be a real factor this year in the playoffs. They could be the, the, the uh, Super Bowl team. If they had an offense, they would have won two or three Super Bowls in the 